Hello there, I'm Aaron and this is the Aaron Beasy YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about the essentials, the beer necessities. These right here, these are menswear items that are never gonna go out of fashion. If someone put a gun to your head and said you're only allowed to have 24 items, because that happens obviously. These are the 24 items that I'll tell you to get. You don't need anything else after you've got these 24. However, they do work as the perfect base for you to add pops of your own personality and pops of anything that you particularly like on top. These are the building blocks. I'm gonna try and make this the most cost-effective list of essentials possible. And what I mean by that is I wanna keep the price down. So, you know, where I may have a more expensive option or you may be able to afford a more expensive option, I'm just gonna assume that everybody um, <laughs> lives in London and London's very expensive and they wanna keep costs down as much as possible. <laughs> so, um, if we're gonna take that into account, with that said, uh, when I do give you some options, they're probably going to be the lowest cost options possible. I may also give you some uh, higher priced options, so there's a bit of diversity there, but essentially we're going to try and keep the price down. What's good about this video is it's not just for men, it's for women also. Ladies, 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 I've got you covered. If your man or your significant other is just not cutting it when it comes to the clothing department, or if there's a guy you know, that you're thinking of getting more serious with, but there's just a few things that bother you about his wardrobe, I've got you covered. I'm gonna tell you a few items that you could probably suggest to him, or if it's his birthday, or if there's a special event coming up and you wanna give him a gift, suggest these items or give him these items and he'll love it. And even if he's not sure about it, if you act like you love it, he will love it because he wants to impress you. I've got you covered, dog. Let's go. Now, as 24 items are quite a lot of items, we're splitting this into two parts. So this is gonna be a two-part series, 24 distributed over two parts. So that is 12, which means I'm gonna give you 12 today. All right, now we're gonna start off with this bad boy. Number one essential, plain white sneakers. They are the most versatile things in the world. You're gonna hear me say that a lot today, but they really are, all right? With plain white sneakers, you can wear them with a suit, you can wear them with more sporty attire, and of course, you can wear them casually, okay? Now, the ones that I'm about to show you are not the plainest of white sneaker. Really, if you want a plain sneaker, I'd suggest a Stan Smith, um, preferably not the ones that have like a colored back, like green or blue. Even those aren't so bad, but try and get one as plain as possible, um, or I'd go for a common projects if you want to spend a little bit more money. What's really good about plain white sneakers is they act as a blank slate. They let the rest of your outfit do the talking. They're like a silent hero, you know? And when people see the whole ensemble together, they're not just thinking about the trainers. If they're really nice quality, people might actually come up and compliment and say, look, I like your little nice white trainers. But really what it's about is how they complement the rest of the outfit. I'm just gonna show you what I've got as well though. So I've got, I've got these bad boys. Uh, these are, Carl Lagerfeld. Now, obviously, I've said plain white. These aren't plain white. Um, but here's the thing, you know, I before I got before I got these, I actually did have a pair of plain whites, but I battered those to death. Um, when, once you get more comfortable with your style, you don't have to stick to these absolute basics. It's good to have them as staples in your wardrobe, but you don't have to stick to them. It's not gospel anymore. So uh, once I graduated from plain white. Uh, I started getting things that incorporate my personality a little bit more. Like these, great, I love them, basics. And again, what's awesome about white sneakers is they can be worn with pretty much anything. And that's gonna be the common thread throughout this whole video. I'm gonna try and hit you with as many items that you can wear together as possible so that you don't have to keep buying a multitude of different things to wear with other things. Everything that I'm gonna show you in this video can be worn with other things, okay, from this video. And that's what's great about basics. Most things are gonna be gray, navy, white, and black. That's where we're living today. You know, pops of color kind of make things harder to uh, blend with others. It's not impossible. And you know, here's the thing, when you have basics such as these that essentially are monochrome for the most part, when you do add those pops of color, it means more. 
and that's what we want to do. When it comes to colour, it's not how much you do, but it's how you do it. And that's something that you need to keep in mind and that should live with you forever. Don't say I never gave you anything. The next thing that I have for you, number two, is the Oxford shoe. You need one pair of good black shoes, good quality. It doesn't have to be terribly expensive. You can go to Marks and Spencer. You can go to Russell and Bromley, although Russell and Bromley is a little bit pricey. Um, but you can even go on ASOS and find something like that. And what it will be used for is it goes great with suits, but it also goes great if you want to be smart casual. You can throw on a pair of chinos with that, and you can throw on a shirt, jean jacket, Bob's your uncle, all right? It's gonna make you look good, and as long as you look after them, they'll look after you. The next thing we have on the list, that's number three, is a t-shirt. Now, I'm gonna recommend that if you're gonna have fewer rather than many, you should go for either a white, a black, or a navy. And when it comes to these t-shirts, it's not really about uh, what designer brand it is. It's more about the cut. The fit is everything when it comes to a t-shirt, okay? You don't wanna go too loose. You definitely don't wanna go too tight. You wanna find a nice medium, and you want it to be fitted, but not super tight. It needs to be slim. Now. There still is a little bit of leeway here when it comes to the t-shirt. Although a lot of people say, uh, don't go for v-necks, I don't think that's the case. If you're like me and you have uh, tattoos on your chest and you like to show them a little bit, or if you have a little bit of masculine chest hair that you're really proud of and you really want to show, you know, as long as the V isn't too deep, I don't see why you can't wear a v-neck. And of course you can go for the traditional crew neck, you know, round neck, and that's pretty simple, understated, and it will sit back nicely within any outfit. You can also go with the scoop neck. Now, I am kind of a fan of the scoop neck, a low cut. It's, it shows as much as a V-neck does, but without being such a dramatic <laughs> arrow pointing downwards. Um, it's kind of more smooth, and it just shows a little bit more of your chest. And if you want to show a little bit more of your chest or if you want to let a little bit more ear in for the summer, that is a great option for you. All right, we're going to take it down low because we're going to talk about underwear now, guys. Now, it's been reported that women's favorite underwear to see on a man is either black or white fitted boxer briefs, okay? Now, obviously, Kelvin Klein's are always a good option, but it really doesn't need to be any designer brand. It just needs to be a nice, clean pair of underwear, black or white. Now, still keeping it in the underwear region, I'm gonna recommend that you get some black formal socks, guys. The reason we're gonna recommend black formal socks is because, well, they, they go with everything, you know? If you get to choose one sock to have, and you can only have that sock, it will be a black formal sock, and I'll tell you why, all right? Not only do they work with suits, not only do they work with any color, that you're mixing them with in a casual outfit or in a formal outfit. Also guys, if you run out of gym socks, you can also throw those on. As long as you're wearing like tracksuit bottoms, no one's ever going to know, all right? And that's why formal socks are the best socks you could ever get. And that's why if you had to get one pair of socks, it should be black formal socks. Any pattern or anything like that kind of suddenly makes it even more formal, so formal that you couldn't uh, wear it alongside a pair of trainers or so. It kind of throws it out, all right? So keep it simple, guys. You know, and remember, you're paying for those extra patterns at the end of the day, and you don't need them. We're talking about basics here. We're talking about essentials. Now, you don't have to get terribly expensive ones. I'd say go Primark and get some. But if you want to get something a little bit more upmarket, I'd suggest something with a little bit of silk in it. It feels great on the feet and it will help you to not sweat as much as well. So think about that. I haven't even been keeping count, but the sixth thing that I've got for you is mid-wash blue jeans. Now, I'm going to quickly say you can have black jeans as well. They are pretty versatile, but I don't think there's anything more versatile than a mid-wash blue jean, mid to dark wash. These bad boys, super versatile, go with anything. I've got nothing bad to say about them, honestly, you know? And if you get a pair that have, you know, a cool little bit of detail when you roll them up, you can wear them with like shoes, boots, sneakers. This is a beater, like this is something you can wear 
with anything. It will do the job. You can wear it with a blazer, you can wear it with a t-shirt, you can wear it with a leather jacket. Awesome. And here's what's cool about these ones in particular. Look at the detail, a little bit of detail. You don't want loads of detail. You want it to be as basic as can be, but you want it to look a little bit worn. It's sexy, it's masculine. Go for a slim to skinny fit. You don't want to have loads of excess material by your ankles. If you've got some and you really, really, really love the way they're colored and you like how they fit in some parts, but you know they could be better in others, go get them tailored. Some people think it's a bit strange to get jeans tailored. It's not strange. Find a good tailor and they'll tailor anything for you. They want your money. Let them do it, all right? Number seven. We're not keeping count, are we? Don't know why I'm keeping my fingers up. We're not keeping count at all. The next item that I'm gonna tell you about is probably the biggest item that I'm gonna tell you about in this list. Um, but it's probably the most important because of when you'll probably be wearing it. Without further ado, I give you the navy blue suit. Now, again, it can be navy blue or it can be charcoal. My personal choice is navy if I had to choose, having said that I have both. Really, try and get as many suits as you can. But if you have to choose one, go for navy. Super versatile. Reports show that a navy suit makes a man appear more powerful in and out of a business environment. So you think about that, all right? It's sexy, it's classy. You can throw it on with a shirt or you can put a t-shirt underneath it and dress it down. You can put a polo neck like this underneath it. Uh, you can do anything you want with a suit. You can add pocket squares to give it a pop of color. As long as it fits well, um, I wouldn't say get a tailored suit if we're trying to cut costs, but I'd say try and get a nice slim suit uh, off the rack. I'd recommend somewhere like Top Man or even ASOS really. And what's good about uh, companies like ASOS is they tend to have a bit of elastane in their suits. So they stretch with you, they move with you. You can do Kung Fu kicks and you can do backflips in those suits. So that's pretty good. If you wanna get something a little bit more upmarket, then I'd definitely suggest you head into Savile Row, get measured up and get something a bit more bespoke. Otherwise, uh, stick to something off the rack and maybe get it tailored if you want to like, you know, fix the arms or if you want to fix the ankles just to make them a little bit more streamlined with your body. Okay, but there's nothing like a man in a suit. Ladies, I'm sure you'll agree with me. There's nothing like a man in a suit. And also there's nothing like the way a man feels when he's wearing a suit, okay? So it's good for everybody. Win, 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 win. The next thing I have for you is number eight. Now I tell you this, it started to look like I'm a super advocate for navy blue. And I guess I am, I'm not against that. Because the next item I'm about to tell you about is a navy blue jumper. Now a navy blue jumper, it can be a V-neck or it could just be a round neck. But what's great about it is you can wear it with a shirt, you can wear it with a blazer, you can wear it without a shirt with a blazer, you can wear it with a leather jacket, you can pretty much wear it with anything you want, all right? It's the perfect base item or item that will go over something that has a pop of color. It just does the job, really, and it will keep you warm. And that's the most important thing, functionality. I'd recommend going with something with wool in it, uh, acrylic is okay, but it's not the best material for you um, as it's, well, one thing, it's not natural for starters, but um, I'm not a nature Nazi. <laughs> but the other thing is, you know, wool kind of breathes with you and you don't sweat as much uh, when you wear wool because it's a natural material. If you've got a little bit more money to spend, I'd say possibly get something in cashmere or at least have a percentage of cashmere mixed with wool or even alpaca mixed with wool. Okay, so those will definitely <laughs> increase the budget or increase the price, but it's worth it. It will keep you very, very warm and it will feel good against your skin, all right? And you know, I'm telling you about all these items, but what's very important is the way it makes you feel. For number nine, we've got a leather belt, all right? Now, I wanna say get black and get brown, the reality is just get both, okay? Reason being, if you have a suit and you've got black and brown shoes or black shoes and any other color shoes, 
at least you can wear the black with the black shoes and the brown with the other colored shoes that you have, okay, or boots that you have, all right? You need those two colors. Those are the staples when it comes to belts. Good quality leather. It doesn't have to be the best quality. And it doesn't have to be anything too flashy. In fact, I'd say avoid anything flashy. You don't want any massive belt buckles or anything like that that's gonna detract from the ensemble that is your outfit. You want something that's gonna kind of coolly sit back in the background and let the rest of the outfit do the talking. It's just a belt at the end of the day. But here's one thing that I don't wanna see. And it's not just me. Women catch onto these things too. And a lot of men do, everyone does, all right? Black shoes brown belt, brown shoes, black belt. It just doesn't work. It doesn't look good. And it's a, it's, it's a schoolboy era. You know, it's, for, it's very much a schoolboy era. You don't want to make schoolboy errors here. I'm hooking you up right now. Don't do it. You know better, now do better. I'd recommend going on eBay, really. You can literally go on eBay and type in leather belt and something will come up. But if you've got a little bit more money to spend, you can go to Gucci, <laughs> and you can go to even something a little bit further down. I would actually recommend going to Russell and Bromley during a sale. They always have nice black and brown belts that are not too overstated, they're quite understated, but when you feel them, the quality is there and they'll last you a long time. And ultimately, that is what you want. This is number 10, all right? I'm so happy that you're still here. I just quickly want to say, if you could please leave a comment if you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe if you think that I can add any more value to your life. I hope that I will. We're going to be doing tons more videos, so please stay tuned. And if you could share this with anyone that has uh, less than desirable fashion, <laughs> please share it and help them out. And that goes for guys and girls. If you're a woman watching this, please help your man out. If you're a man watching this and you've got friends that you have terrible style, help them out, all right? We're gonna be doing tons of new videos, not all fashion. The next video will be fashion-based because it's gonna be the part two to this one. However, we hit on loads of different topics here. Um, if you see my last video, uh, we, we touch on worldly affairs, we touch on dating, we coach people in confidence, and we do everything in between. And we like to have a lot of fun here. So I have a lot of fun outside of the camera, off of the camera, and what this channel is for is it's a vehicle for me to kind of show you, give you a little glimpse of what I like to do for fun. Now, we're not doing vlogs yet, and I'm not taking you out with me yet, but that's to come. But for now, I'm just gonna be sharing a little bit of what I think makes me me with you, and hopefully that adds value. Brilliant. Back to the top 24, and we're at number 10. Let's get it. Coming in for number 10, I've got a classic, and I don't think any essential list will be an essential list if it doesn't have this item on it. If you ever see an essential list that doesn't have this item on it, close your laptop down, turn off the TV, Call them up and ask them what they're doing with their life because they're wrong. Check this out. White shirt. Now, it's not just any white shirt. You can get any white shirt if you want to, but I'd say go for an Oxford. And in my mind, there's no more classic in Oxford than the Ralph Lauren Polo Oxford shirt. Now, now what's good about this shirt is it's super duper versatile. You can throw it on with a suit and put a tie over it and you're gonna look awesome and you're gonna look sexy. But also, it's a little bit thicker and you can, wear, you can really dress it down in a way that you can't dress down a regular dress shirt. It has lots of added elements to it that make it special. I'd say you can wear it to a bar, you can wear it on a date. If you aren't wearing a blazer or anything, you can literally roll up the sleeves, uh, unbutton the top collar, and just wear it and be casual. You can even wear it hanging out. Let it all hang out. That's what we do here, all right? Good. No, don't let everything hang out. Let just, anyway. Oh, we're getting up there now. Nearly the end. We're at number 11. And number 11 is a jean jacket. A jean jacket is something that <laughs> it's, again, the word of the day is versatile. And why it's versatile is because you can put it over everything. You can put it on with sports clothes. You can put it on with casual clothes. I, yeah, I wouldn't say put it on with a suit, but I've seen that done actually. I'm not against it. I really aren't. I'm really not against wearing it with a shirt and tie. It's, I've seen it look good. 
So you can do that with a jean jacket. For me personally, the more worn the jean jacket, the better it looks. I've had my jean jacket from since I was about 15. And yes, so I was this height and I was this big when I was 15. Puberty came early for me. My jean jacket has stuck with me over the years. And I don't know if the word is patina, but I think, I, I think that's the word. It's, it's, got, it's gotten really good patina over the years, or it's broken in very well. Um, and you know, you can see all the wear marks on it. It's even got a little hole in there. And you know, we live in an era where you can buy things pre-ripped and pre-worn and stuff. And if you want to do that, that's fine. But mine is naturally wooden. <laughs> and I'd recommend that, you know, get one, wear it all the time. Now, I bought this from Next when I was younger. This is a medium. I, this is the only medium item that I have because I'm usually an extra large. So if sizes were bigger back in the day, maybe I'm wrong. But what I'd recommend is if you can afford to get something a bit more high end, go to All Saints. They've got a great selection of jean jackets. I go for blue. Um, you can go for a grey, a washed grey. Um, personally, I think, again, there's nothing like a washed, you know, mid blue uh, denim. That's my personal choice, but you, you have a little bit of leeway with the grey. Um, and just wear it until it's, you know, wear it, and then just keep wearing it. And if it tears, it looks better. You know, if it gets a mark on it, it looks better. You know, never let it go. You, what's also good about jean jackets is you can wear them under like other other jackets. You can wear, wear them under levers. You can wear them under like you know windbreakers, parkers, anything. All right. So they're very very versatile. And if you are going to buy a jacket, uh, buy that one. And for number twelve, we have navy or grey overcoat. You can't go wrong with this bad boy. It looks awesome. I get upset sometimes that I don't get to wear it more often. You know, the one time when I'm begging for it to not get warmer because I just want to keep wearing this coat over and over again. This bad boy right here has saved me during so many winter evenings and days. It's so versatile, it does the job. You know, it's navy again. <laughs> so it pretty much goes with anything that I choose to put underneath it. You know, I can throw that on top of a suit of any color and it will look great. I can throw some chinos or some jeans, any t-shirt you can think of. I can put even a hoodie underneath it and it will look great. You just can't mess up a good overcoat, no matter what you put on with it. You can put it on with trainers, boots, anything else. There's nothing on this list that I wouldn't recommend wearing that coat with. Okay, even the jean jacket. You can even put the jean jacket underneath it. All right, it's perfect. So, that is the 12. I'm gonna hit you up with the other 12 very, very soon in the next few days. This is part one. Stay tuned for part two, because it's only gonna get better. And you kind of need the other half anyway, because, well, you don't want it to be incomplete, do you? This is 24.12. You need the other 12. Stay tuned. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, ding that notification bell so that you can be notified when number two comes out and so you can be notified whenever I do anything. All right? Let's have some fun. Let's live our best lives and let's keep adding value to each other. Okay? That's what it's all about.